Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro, and with the release of the QDV 6.2.81 Ultra non-beta version, we've now got a pretty cool new feature to mess around with, this one being volumetric fog. Now, as for what I know about this feature, it may still very well be in its infant stages of life, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was heavily improved upon later, but in the case of now, we're gonna see what we can do with it. So, let's get started. First, if the cutie shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, find line 24. As it stands, volumetric fog is disabled by default. To enable it, it's as simple as removing the two beginning slashes. And yes, for those using a Minecraft version such as 1.8.9 or 1.9, where you have the shaders options menu, you can simply click volumetric fog to turn it on. So, before we move back into Minecraft, I want you to scroll down to lines 314 to 315. As for the first one, we have our fog start distance. Larger numbers in place of 50.0 will increase the point at which the fog will start to appear. And for smaller numbers, the fog will seem much closer to you. To help you make a choice as to what number suits you, I have a comparison I'd like you to see. For my taste, I'll be going with 65.0. Line 315. For this one, we have our fog density. Larger numbers in place of 0.4 will make the fog appear more thick. And for smaller numbers, vice versa. As for a warning from me, I found that if you bring the number too high, you'll see a bunch of inverted lighting. Meaning, perhaps your whites are black or your colors are mishmashed. So, if you don't want something breaking, then I'd recommend taking a look at one of these recommendations for your choice. For my choice, I'll be going with 0.6. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. All versions of the Cutie Shader will in time change, so if you have any questions in the future or in the now, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this Cutie Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.